Hi guys, I'm Vlad Catcher, and this video is about how to virally acquire users. Now, if you can get customers to your product, that's one of the critical elements. How do you get customers to your product? How do you keep a really low customer acquisition cost? So here it's five ways basically to kind of go viral. <laughs> how do you make your product go viral? This is it. So number one, uh, the first way is build it into the product, like Instagram. I know you, we don't think about it. We're like, hey, Instagram's nice and cool. Nope. The founders, Kevin said, one of the key elements was building that viral loop in it. So as you were making your photo, then as you filtered your photo, then you wrote the capture, then you shared that to Facebook, to Twitter. You shared that photo to your social network, and that brings people back to Instagram to see the photo because at that time it was just a link. Back in the time, it was just a link to see it. So they built a viral loop in the product. You have to do that. Number two. Uber. Uh, Uber, you know, we think it's, by the way, I want to put a note on, on Instagram. In 18 months, there were only 13 people sold it for a billion dollars. 18 months, 13 employees, billion dollar acquisition. So imagine how much you can do if these guys can make a billion dollars with 13 people. Now I meet people, they have a team of 100 people working on a $10 million company, right? So imagine how much you can do if these guys did that. Now Uber, we forget that Uber was just started in 2009. It's just a 10-year-old company. It's worth $51 billion now. $51 billion is insane. And you know a critical part that played in that insane growth was that viral loop. Give a ride, get a ride. So it's again a viral loop. I invite a person, he could get a free ride as long as he installed the app, as long as he put in his email, his credit card information, and took one ride. Then he got his free ride and I got a free ride. That's a viral loop. Uh, it cost Uber money, but they measured it. And they said, hey, guess what? If he do this, they will stick with our product and actually way cheaper than acquired users any other way. So that's number two, Uber. Number three, Dropbox, $8 billion valuation. And they again gave you that other benefit. So they said, invite a friend and then he'll get 500 MB and I'll get 500 MB of storage. That way I gave you storage and I get storage for inviting you. Number four, Candy Crush. Uh, they were acquired for $5.9 billion in 2016. That's massive. And Candy Crush viral loop was a time lock. What that means is after you play, you play, you play, you get hooked, you're blocked. And it just, hey, you can't play for X time unless you get three friends to help you or five friends to help you. And then you got to ping your friends. The friends will have to sign in. They know Candy Crush and they approve you. So you get five of them. They just gain five users and you now can continue playing. Now that's a viral loop from Candy Crush. The last example here is number five. It's Harry's Razors. Now Harry's, uh, they were acquired for $1.4 billion in just six years. These guys launched it in 2013, sold it for $1.4 billion. That's, that's an awesome exit in six years. And one of the important parts of that growth was their viral loop. And their viral loop was uh, they had tranches. Now they did this from launch. As soon as they started, they had tranches, which is uh, if you invite five friends, you get this, this gift. that They gave you a free shave cream. If you invite 10 friends, you get free razor. Then if you invite 25 friends, you get the free premium razor. And if you invite 50 friends, you get one year free blades. So what I call that, it's a viral loop with cascading benefits. This means like you get five, you get X, you get 10, you get Z, you get you know 20, you get, you know, you get Y. So cascading benefits. So those are the five examples of viral loops. Now note me, I made a mistake many times of launching my product without a viral loop. So if you're launching your product or if your friend's launching a product, you should say, bro, what's the viral loop? If they can't tell you a viral loop, it's going to be a dead product. You always have to ask yourself, what's the viral loop, which is how you're going to acquire customers. And you got to think of these examples. Remember Kevin Systrom, how he, they built it in the product from the beginning because they said, hey, how are we going to be found? How will our app get found? How will they find Instagram online in this busy Play Store if we don't have a viral loop? They did that in 2010. So remember Kevin's sister, remember Ubers, give it a ride, give it a ride. Remember Dropbox, you get free space, I get free space. Remember Candy Crush, where you time them out, and you make them, you make them uh, wait or invite five friends. And remember Harry's, the cascading tranches. And make sure to put a viral loop in your product, which is part of it, so the users will bring you more users. I hope this video was helpful. My YouTube channel is all about entrepreneurship. It's all about startups. If you enjoy videos about entrepreneurship and startups, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.